built-in 5MP digital camera, our Celestrum Biological Microscope has a built-in 5MP digital camera that captures high-resolution images and 30 frames per second SD video of your specimen as well as a full-color 3.5 TFT LCD screen with onboard software. High Magnification Power from 40x up to 1600x magnification, with digital zoom, the LCD Digital Microscope 2 is a precision instrument ideal for viewing a range of cellular specimens on slides. Includes 1GB microSD card, the Celestron LCD Digital Microscope 2 even includes a 1GB microSD card, which provides enough storage to capture over 600 high-resolution images for lab reports, papers, lessons, and more. Multiple accessories included, in addition to the 1GB microSD card, you'll receive a dust cover, a rugged canvas carrying case with shoulder strap, 5 prepared slides, an AV out cable for viewing on a TV or projector, and a 4-plug international AC adapter. Top Reviews from the United States It is a lower-end biological microscope, but it is perfectly adequate for education use and even some less critical real biological work. It is certainly much better than most cheap educational microscopes or the abysmal toy ones. The hardware is definitely a little dated in the sense the LCD display resolution is low and the illumination is a bit dim for the highest magnifications, it uses a mini BUSB connector, etc. The saved files are fine, but focus perfection would be easier with a bit more resolution on the display device. I like that the screen stylus has a mounting spot on the top of the body. The top side illuminator is basically useless, but it is rarely useful anyway. The stage backlash is a bit annoying, but you get used to it. The focus vernier on my unit was tight, no sign of the slippage some comments mention, maybe even too tight really, I suspect it can be adjusted but I haven't tried yet. I don't love the color balance options, especially when combined with the color filter wheel. The aperture options are okay, the condenser isn't otherwise adjustable. I suspect it doesn't support modern larger capacity SD cards, but that isn't a bit deal. I haven't tried using the battery supply or USB data options.